Greetings and welcome to another impressions video here at Words About Games and today we're going to be looking at Astral Chain. Astral Chain is a cyberpunk anime action game from one of the best studios in the action game business, Platinum Games. You take on the role of the newest recruit at Neuron, a special branch of police officers in Earth's last city, who fight creatures invading Earth from the astral plane that are kidnapping people and spreading corruption everywhere. As an officer of Neuron, you have one advantage a tamed chimera who fights alongside you, bound to you by an astral chain. I'll get the most obvious part of this video out of the way immediately. The fighting is wonderful, as you're probably expecting coming from a platinum developed game. This is some of the slickest, most responsive action I've experienced all year. It's got everything you've come to expect from a game from this studio. When you're in the thick of the action battling chimeras, it's fast paced and incredibly satisfying. This is in no small part thanks to the addition of the Legion, your buddy Chimera on the other end of your astral chain. While you're fighting in the more traditional action combat, you can summon your Legion to attack enemies for you. And while it'll do so automatically, there are also a ton of combo moves you can pull off in tandem with your unusual partner. There's an impressive variety of moves to pull off too, and they all feel so satisfying to execute. Most of the best maneuvers revolve around the chain that connects you to the Legion, like catching a charging enemy by extending it to block their path, launching them back across the level, or having them encircle an enemy to wrap them in the chain and briefly stun them. All of these moves are controlled directly by the player themselves by holding down the left trigger and moving the Legion with the analog stick, meaning you can pull them off while still attacking and dodging with your own character. It takes a little time to wrap your head around, but it's a fantastic control scheme that makes combat feel brilliantly dynamic. But while the combat in Astral Chain feels great, getting to it can feel like a slog. Platinum puts a lot between you and the next action sequence, and most of it feels like busy work, designed to extend the running time of the game or lend it a sense of variety that it didn't really need. Each mission, or file as they're called, starts out in an investigation phase. Being cops, it's not quite as simple as responding to a chimera attack and diving straight into combat. Instead, you'll need to investigate crime scenes to piece together what happened, figure out what kind of chimera you're dealing with and which way it went, before you can get down to the business of smacking around a bunch of enemies. This means partaking in a series of really dull activities to fill an investigation meter before you can get to the fighting. You'll need to canvas areas and talk to witnesses, occasionally stopping to complete minor side missions such as solving rudimentary riddles or catch minor criminals, analyze evidence using a detective mode like Iris, which basically boils down to finding and clicking on highlighted points of interest, and more. Once you've completed an investigation phase, you use keywords you've gathered to piece together what kind of chimera you're looking for and what happened at the crime scene. It feels stretched out and, and just really boring, like it's taken the worst parts of a police procedural and focused an entire section of gameplay around them. Throw in some painfully clunky platforming and other ill-advised gameplay elements, and you've got sections that drag on far too long, bringing the pacing of the game to a screeching halt. Between files, you'll be exploring Neuron HQ, which involves upgrading your weapon, character, and legion, as well as chatting with NPCs to learn more about them and pick up the occasional side quest, or perhaps indulge in a spot of training, or clean corruption off your legion in a really terrible minigame. Exploring HQ isn't bad. There are some interesting NPCs and ongoing background storylines to keep tabs on that make these segments worthwhile but it's yet another buffer between you and the action gameplay, and I frequently find myself skipping over as much of the optional dialogue as possible, knowing I was still a long way away from the sweet combat I was just yearning to get back to. Perhaps if the story had been stronger, I might have been more invested, but this is a fairly standard anime tale filled with stock characters, and the whole thing felt a bit too familiar. If you see an anime like Neon Genesis Evangelion or Full Metal Panic, then the chances are you're going to have a sense of deja vu as you watch the cutscenes and interact with the characters. This familiar tale starring familiar anime tropes might have been saved by giving players a stronger role in the unfolding narrative, but unfortunately you're stuck playing a silent protagonist while your sibling, the character you didn't pick at the start of the game, gets the narrative arc and all of the dialogue, which seems backwards given your character must have dialogue recorded in case you chose the other sibling but you're instead given very little to do in cutscenes. You do have the occasional dialogue option, but when you're choosing between options like Understood or Roger, I feel I see a difference, it exposes how little your input actually matters. Astral Chain is a great action game, smothered by dull gameplay mechanics and a generic anime story, populated by stereotypical characters. 
The fantastic combat mechanics could have carried the game if it had just been suffering from a pedestrian story, but the game places too many roadblocks between you and your next fight. Every time I was in combat, I was having a blast, but the game would inevitably come to a crashing stop thanks to dull mandatory investigation phases, and there's just too much time dedicated to these subpar sections that the excellent combat can't save Astral Chain from feeling like a bit of a slog to get through. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave us a comment, like, or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We've got tons of awesome videos coming every week, including review impressions, indie game of the week, debate-driven top five lists, video essays, and our weekly podcast where we discuss games, gaming culture, and the games industry. We also stream three times a week at twitch.tv slash wordsaboutgames. But most importantly, have a fantastic day.